Okay, <clears throat> this is part two, explanation of the energy ball. I already explained your energy ball. It is impossible. Save your explanation, please, from YouTube, and instead write a paper submitted to a refereed peer-reviewed physics journal. Then, and only then, are you morally and ethically allowed to go around soliciting money to fund your idea. Lots of luck with that. Desert file. You're smart. If it wasn't for you, damn, we'd, I don't know what we'd do. But let's get back to the invention. Uh, well, I guess I could talk to you for a couple of minutes. Listen there, Desert file. I don't know how smart you are, and I'm not that smart. It has absolutely nothing to do with me being smart. It has everything to do with hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people preceding me who are smart. When you try to insult me, when you try to castigate me for, as you put it, sitting down and explaining things to other people, it isn't me that you're castigating. It is the great number of people who have preceded me and who will precede me that you are castigating. But I'm trying to make something that ain't been invented. It ain't been invented, even though people have been trained to invent it for many centuries. You know, we have... Uh, second century drawings from what is now Arabia, that area, showing the exact same thing that you are trying to invent. We have drawings of counterbalanced wheels. Um, people, you know, 1,800 years ago believed that they could use gravity to make a wheel spin. They used all sorts of clever inventions, counterbalanced wheels, water wheels, you name it. Isaac Newton, Sir Isaac Newton, explained why that is impossible over 300 years ago. If everybody thought the way you did, I don't think we'd even have a car. You have it backwards. It is precisely, precisely because of people who, quote, think like I do, unquote, that we have things like cars. It is because of people like you, if everybody thought the way that you did, we wouldn't have cars. You wouldn't have the camera that you are using. We wouldn't have the internet that you are using to spread your video around. You have it exactly 180 degrees backwards. Will we have a stove to heat our house with? How far can you go? What makes sense and what don't make sense? Just cause somebody sit there and give you all kinds of explanations. Well, there's a problem. I'm going to move on. Okay. Uh, this and that is the part that I find insulting. Not insulting to me, but insulting to hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people, perhaps millions of people, throughout history and prehistory, that this guy is castigating. He's not castigating me. He is castigating the method of sitting down and explaining things to other people. He, this Jaybirds27, asked the question, how far does it go? It started over one million years ago. Some homo habilis picked up two rocks and banged them together and created a sharp edge on one of them. She or he sat down and showed how to do that to a few people. And those few people sat down with other people and showed them how to do it. And those people showed them how other people to do it so on and so on and so on for over a million years and now thanks to all that explanation we are sending spacecraft up to the farthest reaches of this solar system taking photographs of planets and moons and nebula and all that shit we are taking images of planets orbiting other star systems we have vastly improved the quality of life for humanity and the animals and the plants that humanity depends upon to be comfortable and healthy, uh, relatively 
you know, Jaybird27, um, just a three, four hundred years ago, you would have died around the age of 40 or so, 45 years. That was really super old age back then. It's because of people like me that you are castigating who sit down and explain reality to people like you that you enjoy the comforts and the health that you, uh, from what I can tell, are currently enjoying. Your quality of life is vastly better than it would have been without people like me. And you have the chutzpah, you have the ingratitude to castigate me. And when you do so, you castigate everybody on down to Homo habilis who have sat down and explained things to people and made your life what would be compared 400 years ago to be fucking heaven, to be paradise, to be comfort and ease of unimaginable just a mere 400, 500 years ago. You castigate them when you castigate me. In other words, I'm calling you a hypocrite. 